So a day ago, I went ahead and test fit the HREs on the little Savoy right over there. The wheels fit like literally perfect in the back, but the front's poked about, I would say about an inch or so, which is way too much. With the stretch tire and some camber, it may work, but I want it to be a little bit less aggressive. Um, over here, what I did is I did the uh, the face mount kind of style. So you can see the face is actually on top of the lip and then the barrel versus this one where the face is between the lip and the barrel. You can see it's a little bit less than what uh, this one actually is. So that brings the wheel in, we'll bring the lip in just a little bit. Um, but I'm curious to see, I'm gonna try this wheel on the front of Miley today and see if it pokes the same because on Larry's car back in the States, the wheels did not poke that much. I took everything apart yesterday, all the faces are the same, the lips are the same, everything's identical. So that shouldn't be a difference. I'm thinking the Mark III from Europe might have a wider track in the front, possibly. So we're gonna see. We're gonna test this wheel in the front of Miley, see if it's the same. And then I also wanna test the uh, face mounted style like this on the Savoy and see how that fits. Of course, I, I can add camber and chest track and stuff, but I wanted to run more of a meaty kind of tire on this wheel and then not have to run too much camber. So we'll just see how this actually works out. And then of course, there is also the possibility of having uh, the back pad of the wheel here actually like machined down. If there's enough meat, I mean, it looks like there's a lot of meat here, but I'm not a machinist, so I can't say it for a fact, but if they can mill this down a bit, plus the face mount like that, or if they can take enough off of here to put the wheel where I wanted, that would also work. So there are options to make these wheels work. All right, we're gonna go ahead and test this wheel first, and this is the exact same setup, same barrel, lip and face that we did on the front of this void that poked so much. So I'm hoping to see if this one poke as much. Looking at it now, the hub right here, for the actual, like the brake in the hub right here, this portion looks smaller than the one on the Savoy. Maybe I'm wrong, but it just looks smaller already. Let's see if these wheels... Yeah, they seem to fit a bit better. Not poking, they poke a little bit, but not near as much. So I'm gonna bolt this down real quick and then we'll get a better look. Looking at this now, you can see a pretty big difference. I'll put pictures side by side. So it does poke, but not near as much as on the Savoy. The Savoy had about, I would say, that much, about right about here, versus where this one's at. This one actually fits a whole lot better than that one does. So I think it's pretty safe to say that the front ends on the American spec Mark III's are a little bit narrower than what the German or the Euro spec Golfs actually have, or this the Mark III's in general, because this wheel fits a whole lot better on my car than it did on that car. So now I'm gonna pull this one off real quick, test fit this one with the um, the face mount, which should pull this lip even further back and pretty much make this like perfect fit for my car, I would say. On a side note though, these wheels look so good on this car. I mean, like I said, they're like the classic five spoke design. This wheel would probably look good on literally any car, but on a 90s Mark III, they definitely look right at home right at home actually before i go ahead and pull off this setup with this wheel uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put the car back down air out the car and see exactly where this wheel actually sits in terms of the fender and then we'll go to this one in a second And that sits pretty much, yeah, pretty, pretty perfect. The wheel turned a little bit, which isn't a big deal, which normally does that when you air out, but still, that's pretty like, it's pretty perfect. So it's safe to say, cause this is the exact same lip, barrel and face, and nothing is different. It's safe to say that the wheels on this car fit much better than that car. The European Mark III's have a wider uh, hub front end. Something's different as making the front end actually wider, but it fits way better than this car. So should these be just for Miley? No, 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 we'll put on the Savoy. We'll make it work, not a big deal. Not a big deal. So I don't know if I actually want to machine these faces down to work for that car. I guess I could. I mean, taking off a little bit for this car or for that car would make them just sunk in a little bit. And then if I had like a five mil spacer, it'd be back to where, or 10 mil spacer, it'd be back to where it should be on this car. So maybe we'll do that. I'm gonna go ahead and test it this one now and see how it looks, but I mean, it already fits fine like this, so there's really not even a reason to test with this more than just doing it, do it to see how the face poke kind of style looks, but 
Those are pretty sweet. I dropped the rear down too. So one full side look. Man, those wheels are just baller. They just look good on everything. So, so nice. I'm glad they fit. Like I said, I, I told you, I knew on Larry's car they fit no problem. So I couldn't figure out why in the world they poked so much on that car. But there you have it. All right, now we have the face poke style, which fits. Honestly, I don't know. I kind of like this style more. It's kind of cool seeing the entire wheel like go all the way around. It makes the wheel look bigger. Like that wheel looks bigger than this wheel. They're both 16s, but you see more of the face. So it looks a little bit bigger. But you can see this one fits even better than before. That one had a little bit of poke, pretty much how my Zobbers kind of sat. And this one's like perfectly under the fender, would pretty much tuck right underneath. So that little bit of the, um, switching the face and the lip gave us a bunch of room here. I don't know if it's gonna be enough with just doing that for that car, because that car poked so much, but it may help just enough that it actually works. We'll see. Looking at the, what do you guys prefer? The face on top of the lift style or sandwich mount? Face mount, sandwich mount. They both look good, don't get me wrong, but I'm kind of digging the uh, the face mount. Back on the power tech, but still looking as good as ever. Gonna put this car away real quick and pull out that one. It's kind of funny. I should have realized that this car had a wider front end in some portion somewhere because these wheels fit very very nice in front of this car no space for at all when i had these wheels on this car they were super sunk down in the front and i should have realized right then and there the fronts were different but it is what it is so now we're going to test fit the face poke style on the savoy i didn't take a picture and i should have but if you look at the uh the hub here you can see there's a whole bunch more material here than on miley miley comes about right there and then it's back this one has about an extra 10 or so millimeters that comes forward which then pushes the wheel out further so i don't know if it'd be as simple as just putting like american spec 2.0 brakes on this car and getting rid of this or however the caliper set up and i don't know if it's exactly like just plug and play but it might be all right let's see how the uh the face poke style does definitely better still still a bit wide I would have to still run like a stretch tire or some camber or just not have the car that low. But I want to have the car obviously looking looking nice and low, but also still drivable. So we shall see. But I think with the face poke like this, with um, some camber, it would be all right. All right. So now we are about there definitely a whole whole lot better I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the car down in a second and see it but yeah that definitely makes it much better so if i don't change actually like how the brakes push or the hub actually is and do a face mountain style like this i think we'll be just fine or if i want to take material off the back side of the wheels or change the entire hub set itself and bring the whole thing back in i don't quite know there's a lot of options either way these wheels will work for this car and they look so good oh yeah that's definitely a way better fit. I think that's good, actually, honestly. Seeing the car on the ground now, I think having the face mount, I think we're good. I think we are good. Like I said, I'm still changing the brakes on this car, and that may play with the actual sizing. But either way, we know we can make it work, whether I need to do sandwich mount to push it back out a little bit if the brakes go in, or if I do face mount to keep it back like this. Either way, we're going to be just fine. There we go. Those look good. It might be kind of cool to do face mount in the front sandwich mount in the back kind of change it up a little bit and then keep the fitment the way it is or do face mount all around and put a five mil spacer in the rear or 10 mil whatever it needs to be Whew, it's gonna look good it's gonna look so good Ooh, hoo, hoo, it looks so good i'm so excited so excited like i said i'm not i'm not 100 decided on a color for these just yet but i'm really thinking doing a color close to this like just redoing this color but in a little bit lighter of a gold um but i think it'll be a perfect color for this car i think it'll be perfect i actually totally forgot this car has a stock fender which means these fenders haven't been rolled they haven't been pulled they're just exactly how they are from the factory and it's nice as wheels fits as it is right now which means that the wheel is still like out here like it was before with a nice pull and like some roll into the fender we probably could still make that work no problem whereas on that car uh the fenders have been rolled and pulled a bunch to fit the zobbers so having this car fit right now as is with a stock fender is really nice so meaning if i even if i want to go back to 
that style which is the sandwich mount and have it back out here i probably could still pull the fender and make it work so we have a lot of options we're good all right we're at the post office now got some parts to ship out and then right after that got some parts to pick up we've got a full tank of gas we got some snacks it's only about an hour or so drive but your boy is hungry so snacks got cash pulled out we're ready to go even though the weather is pretty crappy today you just can't deny the fact that germany is just like it's just beautiful like even though everything's like dead and there's no blue sky at all it's still such a beautiful place can't deny it <laughs> German stations. It's so funny sometimes. We just cruising out here. I think we are here. The house with all the uh arrived. The Mark 3s outside. Nice. That brown's almost there as my car back in the day. Hello. Hello. Christian. Martin. Hello. Nice to meet you. Mm. Yeah, the brown's the brown's super nice. Yeah, when uh, it's not so dirty. Yeah. It's clean. Uh, it's VR, shining. VR6, right? It's a, a 16, uh, 16 valve. Oh, 16 valve? Yeah. And then yeah. 16 valve. Yeah. Very nice. It's two of them? Nice. <laughs> the seats. This, the Recaro oh, seats. Those are really nice. This is the original. Those are, I, so I have those seats in my car, but not the Recaro part. And this is the original 16 valve? Yeah. This thing is really nice. This is a cool little combo. So Vento front end on that one and then this one. This is his garage. I'm here to pick up this, but this is his garage he built. It's got a lift in it. We're going to the, the man cave now. Look how cool this is. It's not uh, No, that's so cool. It overlooks the garage. That's really cool. Yeah. That's a cool spot. Car when it's yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Those are super nice. Now I need tires. Tires, yeah. So this is the same as the factory GTI wheel, but these are 17s versus 16s, and those are really nice. Those look good on my wagon. <laughs> so Martin here, as you can see, I'm getting all the goodies. He has all the parts. And he's showing me more of that kind of stuff. There's so many parts. And a whole other garage as well. There's just so many Mark III parts. <laughs> so many. Yeah. It's uh, black red is, okay. uh, I think, I think this like is the original. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, colored. The all, the all black ones, yeah. It's not the original. Right, there we go. Dude, there's so many parts here, it's so sick. Ah. Oh, I have uh, this one. Oh, the eyelid? It's. Uh, I'm about to spend all my money here. Goodness. <laughs> uh, it's uh, from Cold Society. Cold, yeah, Cold Society, yes. Know? Yes. Two of this when you need. And. Uh, um the phase one yeah oh the phase uh, two, two phase two, two phase two, two grill yeah yeah and then this is the uh, the vento yeah VR6 this is the vento. Uh, original new i have uh buy the last one wow. on volkswagen um uh i was uh next to to my village is a volkswagen handler yeah yeah and um she bring it from uh uh, other place from Germany. Wow. It's the, the last one you can buy on Volkswagen. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're gonna run to the bank real quick and grab more money out, because Martin here is trying to make me buy all of his things, which it's fine with me. Such cool cars. So I've definitely spent a lot more today. I plan on coming just to get this Vento bumper here, but this man has all the Mark III parts and you're not going to come here and just not buy everything. He's trying to sell everything. So I got the Vento bumper. I have this badgeless Vento grill, this set of lights, this set of lights with the plate tub, that set of Vento headlights, which one is cracked on the glass, but still you need replacement glass. And I got the new old stock Vento VR6 slip and one of the eyelid. Pipe with a... This thing is really nice. Um, three inch toilet. Three inch down pipe, yeah. yeah. And um, the exhaust pipe, three inch. Uh, yeah, it looks yeah. good. Yeah. And then he has the R32 brakes on it and the R32 exhaust and remote bumper. Woo! All right, boys and girls. Cannot complain. First off, shout out to Martin 
super awesome guy showing me all his cars all his stuff his garage he built with him and his father and his brother so cool there's a lift in there he has all the power he has a tire machine a balancing machine he has so many cool cars that white gti over there has like all a lot of the r32 parts on it the brakes the exhaust that car is making like 330 horsepower super awesome very nice guy and look at all these parts i got i came here for just the bumper and i'm leaving with all this huge score he also has another garage full of mark three parts just like this one that he said once he goes to clear out he'll send you pictures of parts over there and i'll probably end up buying and spending more money for, with him but hey so so worth it what a good day i said it before but like i truly truly enjoy and it brings me like a lot of happiness just to travel see new places like this meet new people like martin just it's so much fun to meet other enthusiasts who have just cool builds cool little shops they've made all the parts they've collected that stuff to me is just like it's just so much fun like it just makes me really happy to travel to new places and meet new people wait for it look at it coming look at it coming up oh i love it i love it there's a lot of cars that i, I just love but something about these stupid little 90s Volkswagen square box cars. I just love them. And she's getting it. She's ripping it right now. I'm doing like 90 and she's just gone. Just flying. Markers are cool. I said when I first got here, I didn't want to buy a Vento because I already have a Jetta, but I think before I leave here, I'll get a Vento too. Just why not? The trusty wagon is put away. The driveway is looking good. Got the R32 chilling out here. Not bad, not bad. And then we come down here to all the goodies. Ooh, definitely a good score from today. So, so nice. So bumper getting sold, because I don't need that obviously. I'm not decided if I want to sell the Colt Society, I let her keep it. I've kind of wanted one for my car for a long time. I don't know about that just yet. This grill gets sold. I don't really have a use for it, but it is a cool little Vento grill with no badge on it. Nothing like super rare, but it's cool. This thing right here, to have a OEM new old stock Vento VR6 slip that's never, ever, ever been mounted. Like, look at this. There's not a single scratch. It's really brand new. Look at the tabs. Look how like fresh these tabs are. It's never even seen a car. This right here is a unicorn piece. To have one from a dealership that's brand new like that's that's literally insane that's super cool this setup i will sell these ones were like tinted black i don't know if i'll sell those or keep those or just have them as i don't know what or we'll see these i'm probably gonna keep i said this one's broken um you could get a new glass for it but i might just keep this one um as a spare for my headlights because you guys know i broke mine before and it's good to have the lens piece around for backup but we'll see but overall very very good score for today, like I said, I spent more money than I wanted to spend, but I said, you're not gonna show up to someone's house who's trying to sell all this stuff and just not take all the goodies. So honestly, well worth it. Well, well worth it. This is sick. I will probably start posting some of this stuff for sale tomorrow after this video goes live. So if you guys watch the video, you have a chance to buy some of the stuff. If you want it, uh, make sure right on the screen, follow me on Instagram. I post all my stuff for sale on the story there. So if you wanna be the first one to know about it, that is the place to definitely go. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget to be thankful. So they will see us next time. Peace.